Okay, okay, we are back with some more Sabrina Carpenter. Next up is please, please, please in the live lounge. Uh, hearing this live should be really cool, so I'm excited to check this out. Let's hop into it. No spoilers yet. Wait, that sounds so nice. That lyric. Wait, wait, did she, did she switch up the lyrics there? Isn't it motherfucker? Or I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's motherfucker both times. Both times throughout the song. But she switched it up a little bit. Dude, her vocals live are just so nice. Like, again, she's not, like, like deviating from the original, like, crazy or anything. It's, it's just so fucking nice, dude. And the band is killing it as well. It's so pretty. Like the others. I love how she, it goes up there, dude. I love that. Dude, she has such nice teeth. She has such nice teeth, dude. My fangs are like, I, I think I grind my teeth. I think I grind my teeth. I think it's when I'm stressed, when I'm sleeping. I don't think I do it all the time, but like... I, dude, my fangs are going away. I feel like my fangs were more pronounced. Pronounced? Prone? What's that word? They were there more obviously. But now they're like not as fangy. And I don't like... I like my fangs. And they're, they're like going away. She, got, she has such nice teeth, dude. And I hope she doesn't like... Why, why do people get veneers? Because I feel like some people that have nice teeth get veneers. And it's just like, why? You had nice teeth in the first place. And it's like... Veneers? Like, come on. Really, dude? The, the, come on. Come on. <laughs> Oh. I wanted her to say the bad word. Oh man, that was so nice. Sabrina's got such a good voice, dude. It's just the highs, the lows, the mids. It's just all very rich. It feels very rich. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, but the I beg you don't embarrass me like the others kind of ate. True. I can't relate to desperation to please, please, please. It's so real. <laughs> that is kind of ironic, right? I can't relate to desperation, but saying please three times 
it sounds kind of desperate in a way to like not hurt her which makes sense but yeah the irony the vocals are so smooth and hats off to her stylist hair and makeup team like damn she's glowing real real she uses so much of her acting talent you can easily tell she's an actress <clears throat> Sabrina's everywhere and I'm here for it. True. I saw something about Tate McRae not being able to to go up for a Grammy for like the third year or something like that, which is ridiculous because it's like, I don't know, whatever. I, I like Tate McRae. I don't know too much of her songs. We've checked out a few of them. Um, and X's is top tier. I love X's. That's a 10. I don't remember what I rated it, but that's a 10 for sure. Um, but the Grammy, you know, fuck the Grammys. Why am I, fuck the Grammys, dude. Enough the Grammys. Her vocals are so good. Also, that I beg you, don't embarrass me like the others. True, true. One minute, I can't relate to desperate. Okay, you're, you're pointing out the other thing. You're pointing it's the same comment. I don't usually obsess over celebrities, but I'm obsessed with her. The song is so, so good, and her voice is amazing. I'm addicted. Real. It's so refreshing to hear artists that can actually sing. I feel like a lot of artists can actually sing, though. Um, but I, I get what they mean. Like, Sabrina is awesome live vocals really awesome it's like dolly and abba gave birth to the song and had sabrina sing it i wish i could understand the comparisons and references she's so slept on i'm not a celebrity worshiper but i respect how close her music sounds to her her actual vocals it makes it much better to hear live true if these singles are any indication the album's going to be incredible true also looking forward to that album a lot the fact she changed it to like the others instead of little sucker she says motherfucker it's motherfucker isn't it not little sucker why did they put it in quotations like as if that's the actual whatever uh she's the celebrity who i can't stop thinking about i'm obsessed i can't stop listening to this song it's got a hint of dolly parton interesting i don't know much of her music but i i the look i can see it in the look the talent this woman has is insane yes I was one of the spot operators for Taylor's Eras tour in Melbourne, where Sabrina opened. She sounded so good live. She ate it up all three nights, and she's been eating since. True. What's a spot operator? Are you like backstage, and you're like, okay, you go here, you go there. You know, you you operate the spots and positions. Maybe that's cool. If true, um, I don't remember what I rated the original. Please, 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 guys. I wish I went back and checked. I don't remember what I originally rated it, but I like it a lot and it's grown a lot. So I'm just going to give my rating over again. Keep it elite, man. Keep blah, blah, rate this track and performance. I'll go like, it's really good. I still think Espresso is better, but please, 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 dude, is really freaking good. So I'm going to go 9 8. I don't remember what it was. I might have said 9 8 before, <laughs> but 9 8, dude. Awesome track, awesome performance. W Sabrina. Really cool.